Ah, uh, this is me out. I'm gonna do a circular. So I usually am not outside. It's a pretty day, it's my day off. These people probably have a lunch break. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's burning my back of my legs. My stomach's growling. I gotta go back to the apartment and reset up my spot. Oh, sorry, I forgot I was recording. Reset up my spot for the food prep. I was doing food prep and I was really proud of myself and I got some food that's been in there for a while and I need to prep it. And my boyfriend put a shelf next to that where I was standing. And before the tools, I was like, did you not realize that I was standing here? And I tried to work on the other side. I, I think it's because I'm left-handed, so I need to face the dehydrator. And I'm left-handed. So I cut the knife. My right hand is away from the table. The cutting board is here. And I'm facing. So if I were to go on the other side, it wouldn't... I'd be facing the sink, cutting stuff, and then I had to turn all the way around to put it in the dehydrator. And it's... He's got the table like sideways. I mean, I, I had to talk to him about it because it's, and then the floors are really crooked in there. Right in front of the kitchen sink is really crooked. And that's kind of bad because it's like, I saw this young lady, she has so much energy. She's just so pretty. I'm like, oh, older ladies. Sometimes it's hard. I was <laughs> like, Peter. Anyways, I got to cut, I almost bought a cutting board with a rim for the juices and I cut some watermelon or tomato and all the water drips to the side and gets all over the place and we're trying not to have any mice or bugs or anything or mess and now the dishcloths I have are stains. So I got to wash those. I mean, I'll just keep the stained ones. Oh. I start like choking. Oh my, I put everything in the back. I cleaned the front seat because my boyfriend was going to give him a ride. And I had this place this way. Um, anyways. Something bit me. I don't think, I think it was, it could have been a flea. There's something like it's a flea that's not a flea. I don't know how to say it. It's like flea bites on me usually get swollen like around the ankle or something. But something bit me. I'm gonna put on pants to go somewhere yesterday, so I don't know what's going on. But I, I decided I wasn't gonna make videos, and I was gonna, because I used too much data, like memory, and that I was gonna just chat about to myself, and <laughs> my higher power, meditate about planning the future. Not being stuck in the future, but planning how I can get away from all this PTSD and all these fears about the day and jump to the present and say, hey, imagine what kind of clinic you are. Imagine what kind of birth um, support services you want to provide. Imagine how you're going to do that. Imagine it manifest and imagine it actually happening. So... I um, <clears throat> I need to go get my wrist splint. I had got um, somebody ram into me while well, I was holding my boyfriend's hand. There's a click and it's been really bad. And they're like, didn't they do x-rays or imaging? I was like, no. I was like, yeah, I'm surprised. I don't want to just start getting a bunch of x-rays. But at the same time, the type of injury, they told me, oh, get a carpal tunnel thing, sleeve. And I was like, okay. And before I had some pain there and they said... It was um, tendonitis, you know, this multiple use, using it. So I'm left-handed, but I have a right hand. Say you're using your mouse pad on your computer or you're turning on the devices. I feel like it's designed the way you swoop kind of like this or like this. And I feel like it's awkward to use this hand to try to do stuff. It's like it's not even designed for stuff. Um, Doorknobs, when you come in, always turn like that. So it, when you shut, I guess you don't, like locks even, righty, tighty, lefty, loosey, or whatever. It's like when you go up to a door and you're left-handed, 
If you go up to this door that opens like this, and you're right, you use your right hand, you go like this, you open it, you walk in. If you're left handed, you had to do your left hand, you'd have to go up to the door, stand sideways, open it, cock side, like your cock to the side, open it up, and then hold it open with his hand and walk in. Like it, it's everything is like backwards. You want to write on a spiral bound notebook, your hand's hitting the spiral bound. If you want to write with a pen or in a pencil and you're a kid and you're writing with your left hand you realize you got ink like oh I can tell the lefties in the room because you guys got ink and graphite all over your hands because you done smeared up your whole poster and now you're going to get a bad grade for having messy handwriting when it's like smeared I had to be real careful when I sign like notarize stuff and I, I don't want to use any gel ink pens <clears throat> I use ballpoint pens or no felt tip pens not, not a lot. I don't want a lot of ink coming out. I was going to say something important. I forgot what it was. So I felt really anxious. Um, I felt really hungry. Um, I've been hangry and angry from not having uh, good food. I read this thing this morning that said that young... Are women over 40 attractive? And this guy's like, nope. They're just not. They let themselves go. They're old. And he said, but I have a friend whose wife is, like, Asian, and she wears short dresses, so she, you know, she didn't, he didn't say that she was attractive, but it was, like, kind of, like, sad, and they're, like, it was on Quora, and it's, like, oh, unless these people actually, like, work out and um, <clears throat> take care of themselves, and it's, like, I was working out, I have injuries, and I couldn't work out, I tried to work out again, and then it's like, the injuries make it hard, and then it's like, walking is hard, and I hurt my ankle at Pizza Hut, and I had gotten a bunch of physical therapy, and it's, now the insurance doesn't want to pay, because they say you got injured, and I had to actually find that letter they sent. They audited it, the charts and saw that it was injured at Pizza Hut. They didn't have the HR, I didn't know. The boss saw it and he injured it at the time, or my supervisor. That They didn't tell me what to do, and that's my fault for not going and get it evaluated with a work, workman's comp. That's my own fault. So I don't know if you could retroactively, so I might be responsible for several weeks of... Um, appointments and the other point like I might be liable for thousands of dollars based on this issue so I have to, to put that stuff in my for my hearing for the unemployment I was trying to get I'm self-employed so I tried to get self-employed but it made me feel really bad because when I was dating I felt uncomfortable being over 40 and being saggy and fat and I wasn't even I was thin but I had a lot of body skin and fat cells and loose skin because I had lost at that time about 100 pounds and I never had any kind of like surgery to, to take away the extra skin and then I just ended up getting filling those fat areas up again after dating so now I'm super chunky and when I was still single I was seeing a lot of stuff about younger men say, oh we like 40 plus women we like their confidence and they're not so concerned about petty things and they're like mature and focus on their careers and their kids are already you know over a certain age and if the guy didn't want kids like she wasn't like pestering to have kids because she already had um, a couple uh, like, I have a couple I wanted more kids no one not nobody I was trying to date with uh, some people that wanted to date me wanted kids but that's that's a little bit of a creepy statement well you have my baby it's like I don't know <laughs> It's kind of a creepy statement when you don't meet somebody, but it's up through online dating. So, I want to empower women. Um, in Portland, there's more um, transgendered people. And I want us to stay all-inclusive for women. Um, trans or um, birth female. Um, I just don't want to exclude anybody. But there's a reason that if you're saying that, if you're how do you say, categorizing yourself as female, 
you don't want to be neglected. You don't want to feel bad about yourself because of your demographic. You want to feel like you're part of this earth that's supposed to be 50-50 male-female and that you're contributing your, to your stuff as an individual and that it's not, it's a standard of shallowness that we are told who's attractive and who's not attractive. And a lot of the people that say we don't want someone a certain way, they're all of the attributes that people say, oh, look at this guy, we don't like his attributes. And, but he wants a supermodel for a, a girlfriend. That That's fine. But it, if it's not fine if it makes the rest of us that aren't supermodels feel bad. And there's a lot of people in society that strive to look like supermodels. And they do a good job. Whether that's working out, their makeup, their clothing. Um, earning potential goes up. They get nicer cars, nicer houses. You have that. You're not complaining about, oh, I don't even have a place. Like, I came home yesterday, I didn't have a place to prepare my food, and I'm mad about it. Time for me to go, guys. Bye.